never cover this guy again. But damn, after that article that came out in the Chicago Sun-Times of all places, I've been getting nothing but calls, emails, the whole nine yards saying, Hey, Hollywood, is he really back with the Mongols? Is he again the leader? And I said, oh my God, I knew damn well this was going to happen when a Sun-Times article put or dedicated half of the damn story to him and what he was saying. I I don't understand it. I really don't. Why, if you want to live in peace, do you keep on wanting to be in the media? Now... Fox News, everybody knows, it's a worldwide publication. It has the biggest ratings among the cable news networks. And you'll never guess. Yes, you'll never guess. I have to bring it up because they kind of did their own narrative of what the Sun Times story said because now all this is making worldwide news. Worldwide news. Unbelievable. Here we go. Let's add it to the stream. Uh, There we go. Yes, this out of Fox News. Chicago biker gang violence reportedly escalating of after years of relative peace quote a lot of bad blood if you watch the show yesterday the sun times article attributed that quote to little dave here is one of the worst parts of this piece one leader reduced the conflict between the gangs as a whole dick's bigger context or whose dicks better yes you heard it one leader and that's what got everybody emailing calling saying hey he's back all that stuff is one damn little line in this article so i'm asking people to write john brown of fox news his link is right here by the way and tell him this is a bs story It is hardcore BS. Now, their article, Violent Tension Between Biker Gangs in Chicago, Illinois, is reportedly escalating following years of relative peace. Now, all of a sudden, it's escalating in Chicago. Some guys got in a beef. That don't mean it's all out war. But the way he was talking to the newspapers, it made it seem like he was the leader. He was talking on behalf of the club. And what I don't get is, like I said yesterday, if you supposedly love the club, even if you're out bad, why do you want to drag them through all this nonsense? And then act like you're speaking for the club when you're already out bad. What you're doing is putting your people that you claim you have love for in danger. By the way, you were talking in that article. And you knew exactly what you were doing. Everybody knows the game. You think you're an Einstein. You're not. Oh, I get you're going on a program later on this month. Go ahead. Go on the program. Problem is you're making yourself look like a fool. And you're hurting the club. Now, all of a sudden, Chicago's uh, infamous Outlaws Motorcycle Club is warring against the Mongol Nation Motorcycle Club. That's all over the world now all over the world so when you say i'm not a snitch well you're surely dry snitching on a lot of stuff here not to mention what came out of court by the way a rival group that has reportedly been crowding in on the outlaws turf in the city the mongols ain't in chicago 
it's the suburbs of Chicago. They're not going to tell you that in a story like this, but that's what it is. According to bikers and police sources who spoke to the Chicago Sun-Times. See, the problem with this article is now this John Brown is putting in his thoughts, building on the Chicago Sun-Times article. It goes into the birthday party and all that stuff approximately a lot of it's the same from the uh, sun times but he's changed the way some of the events happen and putting out there that little dave's the speaker for the club and what's even funnier is their title of the article was One Leader Reduced the Conflict Between the Gangs. Then you go back and you look at it and they said David Satilian, who served as president of the Mongols until members gave him the boot last year gave him the boot. So why in the hell would you put a leader said this is what's going on and about we don't fish out of the same palm. Why don't you just give them everything they want to know? Uh, and then basically it's the same article in the sometimes. And you wonder why it is so bad that he's talking it's because of that quote right there. There's a lot of bad blood brewing. A lot of bad blood brewing. That according to him, and they put out this damn article that it, one leader reduced the conflict between the gangs as a who's dick bi bigger contest. That right there is a narcissist. If I have ever known one. So I had to take this time to answer everybody in these emails and some of the phone calls about this because that's how serious it is. And screw a woman scorn. You might as well turn it into a little Dave scorn. I thought that's what was going on. Uh, he was just gonna go live his life, be that way. And it's like now he wants to thumb it right into the club's face, which isn't cool because they haven't said a word. They want to be left alone. That's all they want to do. Left alone. They don't want to be in any of this crap that's going on in the internet. And it's really making all clubs look bad because nowadays it seems like, hey, I want to go on the internet and talk, 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 talk. It's, it, it truly is an unbelievable thing that is now happening. What you're seeing anyway, going on with him. Yeah, I said it. We weren't going to cover him anymore, but then that came up and doing news. You got to make sure there's correct information out there. So people understand, hey, this really ain't this way. Because everybody knows that's in a club, a guy like this running around in the media saying, well, there's a lot of bad blood. That's going to get people hurt. Because you're bringing attention to yourself as, well, you're the supposed leader. When you're really not. So how do you say you love the club? Or you love your brothers when you're doing nothing but putting them in danger. I don't get that. It's kind of hypocritical if you ask me. Because somebody who loves something don't do that. They don't do that. It, it's just amazing the thought process. Maybe he needs to take a Xanax, uh, maybe some Zoloft, Lexapro, some antidepressants. But Jesus, leave the damn club alone. 
because you're making yourself look like a fool. I don't know if you're looking for a book deal, like I said, a movie deal, but damn, man, unbelievable. The world we live in today. Anyway, we're going to go to a music break right now, and we'll be back with China Dial. Stay tuned right after this. Rock on. 